Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and I know it's been a while and if you are asking if everything is over, no it's not but I want to make a ROM review right now so here it goes, so stay tuned for that. So guys, now this time I'm here with CR Droid version 4.1 on Oreo. CR Droid is back and uh, I'm really really glad. Oreo ROMs on OnePlus ROMs, uh, OnePlus 3 especially. I don't know, it was kind of getting to a place where everything was the same and uh, it didn't really have much creativity out there. So I I'm glad that there is a ROM like this which is CR Droid and I'm really happy about that. Uh, it comes with CR Droid Raw Home, which is this one, works out really well. Let's get started now. First of all, in the settings menu in the About Phone page. In the About Phone page, you can see it is Android 8.1.0, that is the latest version of Android, that is Oreo. CR Droid version is 4.1. Security patches is March 5. Right now, it is still going on with March, so. The kernel version is 3.18.71, which is kind of strange because as of right now, there is like 3.18.102, which is the latest version of. Uh, the kernel, I'm not really sure why the developer chose this one, not really sure. Now this is running the 25th March version, which is the latest version as of right now. Build number is this one, SNS status is enforcing, which is also pretty cool. Now out of the about phone page, CR Droid, what is CR Droid? CR Droid has been around for quite some time. If you don't remember CR Droid, it was on S3, I have made a review for that. It was also on Z3, it was also on many, many other ROMs. It's a fairly significant ROM and uh, it does have a lot of features. CRRoid was also available on this phone for the Nogat release and it has been only recently that Oreo version has been outed. The Nogat version was an amazing ROM. I actually I did review that ROM and it was an amazing really good ROM for the device and uh, I, I really do think this is also one of them. First of all, everything works. I didn't have any issues with it particularly, so that's one thing. Apart from that, let's get to the extra settings. Now, all the fu functions here work, so that's what I meant by everything works. Uh, in the CR Droid settings, you have a lot of things. So you can see this is an RR inspired menu system, so you do have that. In the icon settings, you do have status bar icons. You can customize what all uh, stuff appears. Clock and date options are available, and uh, left clock, right clock, all of that are available. AM PM style clock, seconds can be enabled, date can be enabled and also date can be customized so that's also pretty cool. Apart from that, super user icon can be enabled and this one does come with super user in build if you do not want to flash Magisk or Super Su. It does come with super user but I personally do use Magisk because I use the modules and uh, the Su hide feature quite a lot so yeah that's one thing. Carry label can be customized so that's pretty nice. Network traffic indicator can be customized, but one thing which I do miss is the threshold level. There is no threshold to select uh, at which point the uh, in the monitor comes up on the status bar. I would have liked that. Maybe future version will have it, so I'll have just have to wait for that. Apart from that, data activity, weather options are available where you can customize the weather stuff, you can customize the weather provider, uh, the update interval, all of that can be customized, so that's pretty cool. Icon back can be enabled or disabled. This one is the status bar weather clock, so you can customize what all stuff appears in the status bar. If you don't want that, you can just hide it. Data activity and Wi-Fi activity can be enabled and that will show up as arrows in the status bar. 4G instead of LTE, roaming indicator, Bluetooth battery status can be enabled. Video LTE icon can also be enabled if you don't want that, well, you have an option now. Now battery customization is available, you can customize it to any of these, it does work out really well. Battery percentage can be inside the icon, outside the icon, next to the icon, all of that. Battery bar can be customized, you can enable that and have it on the status bar. You can customize the color of it, thickness of it, all of that can be customized from here so that does work out really well. Show the CR Droid logo and logo can be customized, you can have logo position also if you are anal about that, you can customize that. There's a lot of things which you can customize there. Uh, double tap to sleep on the status bar, brightness control on the status bar, quick pull down and smart pull down is available. Ticker option is available with ticker style which is amazing, I really do like that. Quick sitting touch, you do have custom header image, you can enable that and uh, that will change the header image to whatever you select. You can have something like this, it does work out really well. I have covered this in other ROMs, it's not specific to this ROM but it is still nice to have that feature. Tiles options are available, Bluetooth battery status in the tiles is also available. If you have a compatible device, it will show 
battery on the status bar and all the tiles which is pretty cool. Rows and columns can be customized. There is no option for customizing the small uh, quick setting tiles which I would have liked to have. Weather service can be customized again in this one. Tile, tile titles can be enabled or disabled. Brightness letter can be enabled or disabled from here. One thing which I do mind is that it, it comes up in the top of it so that's the reason I had it disabled. I kind of grew used to the versions where the, the uh, slider was on the bottom. I think that looks a little bit better so that's just something which I think is pretty cool. Vibrate on touch can be enabled also. Lost options, you do have weather options, you can customize that, does work out really well. Uh, weather, location and condition image can be enabled on the lock screen. Visual visualization can be enabled, media cover art, battery information. Face auto unlock is available which is kind of like the OS face unlock which does work out really well. Notification count can be enabled, quick settings, quick settings in uh, status bar and also power menu in, in lock screen can be customized so that's pretty cool. Recent menu, you can uh, customize the icon pack, you can have that. It does also have clear all button and also the location can be customized. Dismiss can be enabled if you do want to that, do that. D Deep clear can be enabled if you want uh, all the swipes to be a app force close. You can do that. Works out, but I don't really use that a lot, so that's just something there. Slim reason can also be enabled if you are someone who uses slim reason. Well, you have the option here now. Navigation option you do have pulse mode, so you do have customization for all of these options for the navigation bar. If you are going to use that, there is a lot for you, but I personally do not use nav bar, so that's just the reason why I'm not having it enabled. In the button customization setting, you can have backlight, external touch can be enabled. Advanced restart can be enabled or disabled, so that's pretty cool. Uh, menu button, long press power button for torch, and then the lock screen, so that does work out really well. Home button uh, and home button, back button, and recent button customization is available, but this is not the DUI style customization, so you do need to keep in that in mind. The home button customization, it only has all these options, and back button can only be enabled or uh, customized for long press to kill the uh, foreground app. Recent but also has all of these options. Volume button customization is available where you have an option for customizing the keyboard cursor control, volume control p uh, playback whenever you press the volume button. All of these options are available which you can customize. In the additional button settings, you do have swap the buttons key. Uh, also, these are the options available for the, uh, the uh, alert slider so you can customize that. I have enabled swap button because I like that way better. So under user interface, you can see the styles options is still available and automatic is available which uh, correct the accents and the dark mode according to your wallpaper which is pretty cool in the accent colors you can customize anything you want and also dark black and uh, automatic mode is available which you can customize dark style is available for the gray and amulet black i have gray because i was tired of dark black so yeah in the admin display options you do have all the options here it does have new notification tilt sensor pickup sensor hand wave and pocket mode and one more thing is that it can set the vibration intensity for all these options now i have it disabled because sometimes it does make too much of a ruckus inside my pocket because it feels that the new notification was available so yeah i i don't really like that but it's available ambient music sensor is available there's also expanded desktop mode which is pretty cool system management can be customized it does have scrolling cache all that is available notification options you do have power notification controls which you can customize force expand notification is available which also you can customize uh, bath light can be customized from here which is really cool now something which i did notice is a notification light customization is the old school notification light customization which is pretty nice i kind of like this version more than the version available with oreo so that's just maybe something of my nature sound options are available where you can customize all of this screenshot sound can be customized miscellaneous options it does come with add away which is a newer version or kind of a different version of Adaway than what we have seen with the app version so not really sure suspend actions are available cpu system usage can be enabled or disabled media scanner on behavior on boot can be enabled or disabled auto usb mode chooser vibrate unplug all of these options are available which you can customize and finally we have the about the android where you can customize all of this you can just check out about these roms and also updater is available now i haven't used the updater myself but i don't see any reason why this won't work so yeah so guys that is it in the extra settings of these options and uh I have to say it is a very very feature rich ROM it has a lot of features it's something which I would compare to maybe Unleashed OS or Resurrection Remix uh, more like Resurrection Remix it has a lot of features but it's missing a few things here and there which I personally would have liked like 
the small settings, quick setting tiles, uh, customization and uh, heads up display customization which is not there. You can enable or disable heads up display but there is no option for the uh, timer customization and all that which I would like to have but nonetheless it does have a lot of features and in the feature section I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for features so that's pretty cool. Now the battery life. The battery life on this ROM for me, well it's not the best. It wasn't the best but it wasn't shoddy either. I got about 1.4% of idle drain and about 1.16% uh, of active drain which is not bad but not the best in the industry which I've seen in the in Oreo ROM and nothing compared to a Nogat ROM with AKG profile which is actually my daily driver right now. So yeah not not the best but i can live with that so i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 because it's just how it is now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom now under the benchmark was updated recently and uh, i don't really know the scale at which i can guide this but this is the Antigen benchmark score which i got with this rom uh, 146,000 which is the last uh, last one the average one was uh, pretty similar I got about 147,896 as an average um, out of like four or five runs so I'm gonna take that I can't really make out the score with just this one but from what I have seen from what I have used this one with there aren't many issues with it performance it does get a little stuttery sometimes when i'm going through a lot of things uh, like browsing and all that a uh, lot of applications a lot of tabs it does get a little bit stuttery but uh, i guess that's available with any other rom so i'm not going to penalize too much about it i'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it's almost same as any other rom so pretty cool now the stability of the rom the stability of the rom is also a pretty strong point i didn't really get any issues out of this there's no restart there's nothing here i guess oreo is right now reasonably stable enough so that you can use it as a daily driver so you don't need to worry about that i'm really happy about that so yeah i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for stability now the camera the camera right now with which it comes is the snap camera i guess it does have a lot of options works out really well it does even have a pro mode which is pretty cool uh, i like it not really sure how much of an effective one this is but I, I can really say that it is working it does work out really well uh i've been happy with that i personally do use the gcam options and it doesn't come with libraries but you can you need to do magic module for that or a team recovery patch for that works out really well with portrait modes you can have that works out I do like this camera though it does work out really well and uh, it, it just works that's what I want to talk about so I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for camera now the aesthetics of the ROM this one doesn't come with full on substratum support that is sister but it does work with substratum it doesn't have fun support like, like as I already said it doesn't have sister one thing which I really do like is it does have color engine which is really cool and it has dark notifications which is not something a lot of lineage based ROMs have and I really want dark notification on this because uh, many other ROMs don't have this uh, even with the accent color and color options available color management uh, the notification will be white even though you have dark theme enabled so that is something which I'm really really happy about uh, so yeah I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 for aesthetics now the overall experience of the ROM uh, I have been really happy with this ROM I actually did use this as my daily driver for quite some time uh, during my travels it has a lot of features but it is missing a few things which I do think is really what I really want in my daily driver uh, for the same reason I have gone back to Nogat ROM because I have no reason to go back or come to Oreo if Oreo doesn't offer me anything more than what Nogat is offering me right now it has better battery life uh, better feature set and uh, I just like it better but that's that's a whole other tangent which I'm going on uh, as of right now this is a pretty decent ROM I really do like that so overall score I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for now let's get to the boot animation which is also pretty cool but kind of similar to those who know about it here is the boot animation for CR Droid has no res resemblance to CR Droid is the Google Pixel boot animation which is which is pretty cool I'm not hating on that but uh, it isn't much either so that's just how it is so guys there you have it um, I'm really impressed with the ROM CR Droid was one of those ROMs which had a really good potential in the Nogat days even but was outshined by other ROMs like Resurrection Remix unofficial versions of Resurrection Remix like Nice Oni Ashes Resurrection Remix and Xenity's 
uh, the session remix and many other ROMs like AEX and all that but now on audio scene Resurrection Remix is not where I want it to be yet and uh, well there's also this problem with Resurrection Remix which, which is not allowing unofficial versions uh, I'm not really sure all the about the uh, basics of that but as of right now Sea Droid is a very very lucrative offer and I'm really really excited that ROMs like this are available and I'm really really using this uh, I, I'm really trying to push this out as a daily driver because it does work out really well I'm really happy about it and uh, yeah I'm just glad that uh, I found this from because the final score is actually 6.96874412 that is going to translate to 7.0 out of 10 for this ROM which is great so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye